it's match number 10 of the HBL PSL where the Molten Sultans take on the Karachi Kings. Danny Morrison had the captains in the middle and it was Imad Wasim of the Karachi Kings who called correctly and decided that they would field first. The pitch looked a good one, devoid of grass. Many felt that it would be on the slow side and may take a little bit of turn. But what we do know is that it is full of runs. And the Sultans fresh off a win. Mo and Ali at the top of the order. Shan Masood walking in with him, the captain. Ravi Bapara coming in at the expense of James Vince. The Karachi Kings, Baba Azam and Shajil Khan. Alex Hales, a real powerful top three with Cameron Delport walking in at four. And just the one change, Umar Khan, the left arm spinner coming in. Right, let's go through now and take a look at the highlights. Chance. Chance, who wants it? Down. No, no, that had to be taken. All the time in the world. No control over that shot, wanted to hook it more toward final leg. Look at that. He had eyes on it, just couldn't grab on it. Big miss. Yes. Yes, that's lovely. Yes, he does. Now let's bear in mind here that Golut are donating 20,000 rupees to charity for every six that is hit. Well, we got one real early doors now inside the fourth over. Four. Here's a chance, here's a chance, and take it! A poor shot. Watch Babar in the background. Hit the toe end of the bat. And Babar knew that he's, he's got him. He's got him, he's got safe pair of hands. No issues at all. First wicket gone for 31. Down the ground, and it's a big one. Beautifully done. Into the stiff breeze. It's a 72 meter hit down the ground. <laughs> 44 for one, and things are going rather swimmingly here for the home side. Cheeky, like it, yeah, got enough on it here, did Mo and Ali for four more, 50 up for the home side. It's gone over, he's gone over and so is Mo and Ali, the Mo Meister over extra. Something about that extra cover drive, so pleasing, 80 metres. normally takes those in his sleep. Oh no, Delport of all people would have had a magical wicket here not to be. It's another single. Uh, there are all these bits and pieces. Cross seamer just set up to say, smash me please. Hales. Oh, nice little larrap. <laughs> From Mo and Ali. Mo's another one, and he's uh, gone to 45 now. Comes down the track. Momentum into the ball. He's dragged it leg side. Hasn't got all of it, but enough. Yeah, he's trying to flick the switch here, and he has. Go, Mo. 
He's only one away and he's striking at 150. Oh, he's short again. Yeah, all the way. Here's another maxi. Courtesy of Moen Ali, who brings up his 50 and start. Shot of a land. And this time, Alex Hayes has no chance. Runs. That's great placement. It brings up the 100. I love the way Moen Ali has just waited on this. Chance. Going to take some catching. Yes, they got one. They've held on to one. <laughs> it's Cameron Delport. What a vital wicket this is as well. Trying to go into the breeze. And this time the ball holds up. And the terrific innings comes to a close. Second wicket falls. 60, uh, 102 for two. Squeeze the way for four. Yes, that's more like it, Skid. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Riley's got too much of it. And he's going to have to disappear back to the pavilion. Couldn't get going here this afternoon. It was there to hit, but he hit it straight to the man. Barber gobbles this up. Amir has a man, they need wickets. Riley Rousseau, not today, out for eight, 140 for three. Tries to catch it, just pick the bones out of it, that's all. Here's another maximum to the skip. Racing into the 40s here. Army trying to slow one, he just sets up. Baseball hit. Shan Masu doesn't miss out. So obviously playing in the hometown, and it's been a sellout on, on both days. It's been absolutely amazing. It's so loud, like you can hear now. Um, it's very difficult to even speak to your partners and your friends, so yeah, no, it's been amazing. Definitely, it is getting a bit difficult because the noise is deafening, but thank you so much for your time and good luck today. Thank you very much. From the home side's perspective, cheeky little dab here, the inside little flick scoop thingy. <laughs> it goes for four. Got him! Yeah, the old sand shoe crusher has knocked over Sean Masood in more ways than one. Don't want to see that. Aiming for the boot, hits the boot. And on top of that, hits the top of off. The Yorker that hits top of off. Sean Masood out for 61, played well. 164 for four. From Christopher Jordan. Missed the length and maybe this is gone. But Para gets all of this and some. Goes for 10 in the end, it's 173 for three. Yeah, long on back, straightman wicket on the fence. And that's where it's going, going, gone, what a catch. Comfortable, can't blame Bapara. It was on, the length was there, bottom of the bat. He's carried all the way to Umay, the Asif takes this comfortably. Amir has the wicket, Bopara goes. Nine, 175 for five. A little outside edge, big appeal, big appeal, he's saying no. Well, come upstairs if you like it that much. Yeah, there you go, referral. Oh, yeah. So, a little feather. 
and through to Chadwick Walton. On that evidence, Kushtel is going to be disappearing back to the pavilion. Change of decision, Mr. Freedy. That's right. He's out of here anyway for 10. And Multan, a 184 for 6. Oh, nice little chip. Straight. Nearly for four. So, so Hale won't get back either. A couple of old timers. So in the end, off their 20, the home side have managed to get through to 186 for six. Well, what innings this was from the Sultan. 65 of just 42 deliveries by the Englishman Moen Ali. Zeshan, he looks a talent, 23 of 13. Masood, the captain, needed runs and he got them at just the right time, 61 of 42. 186 for six. It's an imposing total. The Kings, well, Iftika came in for some punishment, as did Imad, the captain, who just bowled the one over. The impressive Amir, four overs, two for 27 was the pick, but it was a trying evening for the Karachi Kings bowling attack. So the Karachi Kings, they will need 187 to win at just under nine and a half to the over. We're off to a break and when we come back, the chase. He's gone long early on, Shardil, and he has hit it all the way. He has made up his mind that if it's pitched up in my zone, I'm going to go for that. And that's exactly what he did. He hit it hard, and he hit it long. First six of Karachi's inning. Yeah, that's four. That's just timed away. It's a big shot from Moen Ali. He was convinced, and he's given it. He's had a long, hard look at this. And because of the time taken, we wouldn't be surprised if Sajil says he wants to go upstairs. There it is. We're going to have to have a look. Well, we were all shouting up here in the commentaries. Come on, give it out. It is out. That pitch is perfectly in line. And gone. They'll stick with the umpire. It's just got to clip the bail, and Shardil will have to go. Yeah, you could tell. Even in the normal speed, you could tell that that ball will kiss the stump or hit the stump. 19 for one, Shardil Khan gone for 16. Four. That is through the eye of a needle. down the pitch and it's gone all the way it does not really matter if it is against the wind or not 43 for one chance in the deep you've got to go yes that's brilliant that is a wonderful catch in the deep well done youngster cross seam delivery Maybe extra bounce. Watch that catch. Don't worry about the shot. Watch this from a youngster. Brilliantly taken. Outstanding work by Multan. Took Shajil earlier. Now Babar gone. Karachi in trouble. Babar gone for 13, 45 for two. Lovely timing. As sweet as you like from Hales. No, and he's straight into it. He says, I'm not mucking around. I've had to wait a while. And he's got hold of this one. Not a bad strike rate, just quietly. Sharpness 
concerned the skipper has helped out a Freddy and his mates. Third one down here for the Kings. I'll just have a look at this. Soft signal out. Does he get the hands underneath? Oh, comfortably. Comfortably. Well taken. Finally, we get the confirmation. Hales goes 66 for three. Good! No, you know, no! Celebration time, Noan Ali. First ball from Emran Tahir. And it's hugs and kisses all round. Hit it too well for you to believe that he, his intention was to hit it on the ground. and. Didn't really swing hard enough to clear the fence. It was sort of an in-between shot. Didn't get all of it. And again, another terrific catch. Running forward in the deep. Cameron Delport goes for eight. 68 for four now. Oh! <laughs> Keepers at him. The Freedy joined him late in the eye. Here we go. Shove Raza in the end, gets the finger up, and Madwasim walks. Surely that was out. Yeah, just a little bit on it. And you know your decision's right when the batsman walks. Fifth wicket falls, 75 for five. This right-hander is dealing with six of one. That's enormous. The go loot low six. 20,000 to charity. Chadwick Walton made sure of that. 94 meters. Goes again, he's gonna find some space. Is he? No! Held in the deep. The timing of the jump had to be perfect. Tahir, he's up and running. I wanted to clear the fence. Kushnil Shah moving back and knew exactly where the rope was. Beautifully taken. Huge, huge wicket. He goes for 15. It's 87 for six. Well, this one is given away. Jordan played it very, very late. It's very close. It was very, very close. Imran Tahir is short about it. Now let's understand here that Imran Tahir is coupled with Vernon Philander and Stuart Broad when it comes to reviews. Is that if there's a shout, he wants to go upstairs. A little bit of turn, a little bit of turn, but I think that this is a good review from Tahir. Yes, it is. It is. The umpire will have to overturn his decision. This will be out. Change of decision, yes. He's got to go, Chris Jordan. He's got to go. He's been done by the googly from Imran Tahir. He's gone for seven. It's 106 for seven. Googly again and dispatched it over mid on. Beautiful shot. This is middled, another googly. Tahir bowls a lot of them. And that has been boshed, has it? Not enough! Time to party some more here in Malta. Drifting into the legs. Just a couple of yards in it. Didn't quite get enough. Good solid catch in the deep. 120 for eight. Gone a long way up. Look out, you two. Held on there. There was a clash. Ravi Bopara in the end. I think he might have just done himself a little mischief in the ankle. 
But that is a great catch. It's noisy out there, out in the deep. Caught it very high on the bat again. He's been fortunate so far. He's hit two maximums already, going for the third. A little bit of a collision, but all's well that ends well. Well caught. Another wicket falls. Nine down now for 131. Let's see if Tanvir can finish things off here quickly. He's got one left in his third. Left arm round of the left-handed Muhammad Amir. That's it! What well, a cute brother! Lovely change of pace. Dead eye dick, it's the top of middle. Talk about a bullseye and darts. It's Tanvir again. What a win. Didn't go so well for the Karachi Kings. Shajil, Baba Azam, Hales all got starts, but no one went on. And 134, all out in 17, was certainly not good enough. What a performance this was from the Sultans. Again, very well led by Masood, but every single bowler, bar probably the offspin of Mo and Ali, was absolutely sensational. Wickets for all of them. Uh, 186 for six after being asked to bat first, the Malton Sultans and the Karachi Kings in response bundled out for 134. It's the home team that win by 52 runs. It was Mo and Ali. Mo and Ali walking in at the top of the order who got them off to the wonderful start. A little bit scratchy at first, but in the end, he was a pleasure to watch. It's the home side, the Sultans, who go straight to the top of the to the table, courtesy of a wonderful net run rate. And we can't wait till they take on the Quetta Gladiators, who sit in second place. There's work to be done for the Karachi Kings and the Lahore Calendars. So after a wonderful evening here in Multan, that's it from us. A very good night.